Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to show you how to solder the terminals of the motor to the wires and what exactly we mean by clockwise and counterclockwise direction and how it moves. So I am going to use this motor, this 9 volt battery to show you all and these wires. Okay, so let's get started. This as you can see are multi strand wires. Okay. So, when we go to solder them, just don't put the wire in the loop directly. First, what should you do? You should twist the wire completely so that all strands are tied up together. And then it is easier to solder them. Okay. Now again, I am showing you all how to solder but don't start soldering right away. Watch the remaining lectures and then solder. Okay, so I am connecting this one terminal here. I'll just put it inside and loop it somewhat like this. Much is enough. And same for this. Put it inside and make it a loop. Okay. So now, can you see, we have the, made the connection here and here. While soldering, make sure the fan is turned off because we don't want our solder to dry from the outer cover and be wet inside. So, this is our soldering iron and the solder wire. So, I will take a part of the solder wire. When we are soldering, make sure that you don't touch the hot part. This part here is really hot. Make sure you don't touch it. And this is a plank, a wooden plank where I am soldering. Make sure you are keeping it on some plank and then soldering it. Not just on the floor directly as you might make your floor go dirty. So now I will show you what can you do. How will you solder? What you have to do is let your solder rest in one position. Let your motor rest in one position. If you can't, just call your parents or one of your friends to hold the motor in position. And then take your iron near and your solder wire close to it. And just connect with one little drop see it's connected just a slight drop and your wire is connected now when you solder you don't need to you don't need to put a lot of solder onto it a little solder is also enough just make sure that you are applying the solder at the right position that is on the metal wire and the connection okay similarly solder the next joint too that's it just a little amount of solder then let it dry don't don't blow so that it dries quickly because then again you will be doing the same thing as the fan would do the solder from outside will be dry from inside it will be wet and it will result in your metal strands coming out quickly so now just to test you can pull and check don't pull it too hard so that it actually comes out just a slight pull and then you can see okay it is not coming out which means it has been soldered well fine keep the soldering iron aside at a safe place and make sure you turn off the mains so guys now we understood how to solder so now let's take a look how are we going to actually connect our switch that is our dpdt to our motor so this is our dpdt i've hold it i've put it in such a position that the two which are close by will form the upper part and the bottom two will form the lower part. So let's see, as in the last lecture, I told you 
these form the poles and these are the throws right so we are going to connect the poles to the positive and negative of the power supply right now i have used a 9 volt battery correct but for 9 volt battery we won't get the complete output that is our motor won't actually move at 300 rpm the speed will be comparatively low okay then what did i say if the positive is connected to the positive of the motor it will move ahead it will move in the clockwise direction and if the negative is connected to the negative of the motor then it will move in the anti clockwise direction so what i'm saying this i am explaining for the right wheel the wheel in the right side and this switch will be of that on the left side i'll explain how that happens in the next lecture but just understand this switch will control the right motor we'll have connections something like this if i press the switch in the forward direction then my negative will be connected to the negative of motor positive will be connected to positive of motor and my motor will move in the clockwise direction and it will go ahead then if i connect my negative of supply to the positive of motor and my positive of supply to the negative of motor then it will move in the anti clockwise direction and the wheel moves backward okay so this is our wheel what do we do we press the switch in the forward direction the wheel moves in the clockwise direction thus our car will move ahead then if we press the down button so i have the negative connected to the positive that is reverse correction so the wheel will move in the anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction meaning it will move in the backward direction now what are we going to do we'll just connect this tire it has the same notch here so we'll connect the tire to the shaft okay now this tire will start moving so i have these two connections again i am twisting them so that all my strands are together and i'll do one thing so you can see this positive terminal here so this terminal happens to be positive and this will be the negative now on our motor we really don't know which is positive and which is negative we have just soldered now let's just see when i connect my motor in this direction it starts moving in one direction so it's like this it is moving in one particular direction now i am not connecting see if i connect completely it's rotating it's difficult to understand the direction right so i'll show you like this this is the direction in which the motor is moving now what i'll do i'll reverse this the red and black has been reversed now i'll connect them you see the motor is moving in another direction this is what is the bidirectional motor so when you connect in one direction it moves clockwise when you connect in another direction it moves anti clockwise so if you have your motor say this is the chassis what are we going to do we will connect the motor like this and obviously we'll fix it with screws i'll tell you how to right now just understand so it will be connected like this okay let's keep the chassis aside this is the direction so the wheel is like this so this happens to be the left wheel i want the left wheel to move ahead right so let's check i'm connecting my red to the positive and let's see 
yes it moves ahead and let's reverse yes it goes back okay so if you see this is moving in the clockwise direction when I'm connecting the red the black terminal when I'm connecting the black terminal to the positive it is moving in the clockwise direction and when I'm connecting the red terminal to the positive it is moving in the anti-clockwise direction so for my left motor this is happening suppose if this was my right motor okay it will be on the right side now if I connect my red to the positive it is going back and then if my con if I connect black to the negative positive it is going ahead okay so you can just see what you can do is now you have the red and black connected here let's just make a convention if the wheel moves in the clockwise direction when I connect my terminals that is I connect plus of my motor to the plus of the battery then the wheel should turn in clockwise direction if it is not happening then we'll just see so I have this this is moving in the anti-clockwise direction right now I connect this this is moving in the clockwise direction so it happens such that the black terminal is my plus of the motor and the red terminal is my minus so what you can do you can make a small note on this white terminal that red is the plus and black is the minus okay so now if I were to make connections I will have wires from every terminal that is my all six terminals will have wires correct that is a lot many let's see if we can reduce the number of wires just like we reduces reduce two motors so what I do I remove these two wires and you can see this M plus that is the plus terminal of the motor it is the same right that means even if I had two wires here this was going to the plus terminal and this was going to the plus terminal so both these wires had to be connected at one point somewhere so instead what I do I just remove them and I make a connection here like this the plus terminals are connected and then I make a connection here that is the minus terminals will be connected so now when I press the forward direction it will move in the forward direction and when I press the reverse direction too it will move correct because then what do I have I have my negative yet being connected to positive correct